from Dr. Fessy Lewis, Associate Professor, Department of Reproductive Medicine and Surgery, Amrita Hospitals, and Senior Consultant, Amrita Fertility Center, Kochi. Today's our topic is Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome and Infertility. So to understand that, we must know about what is polycystic ovaries. That means in the ovaries, uh, usually it is enlarged than the normal size, and uh, uh, that will be smooth and shiny like appearance. So. If you look into the reproductive age group, that is uh, females between 20 and uh, 35 years, uh, the ovaries uh, uh, will be polycystic ovaries in 20 to 25 percentage of the females. But their uh, periods or cycles will be regular, their ovulation will be regular. So the significance of polycystic ovary, ovaries are, suppose uh, uh, for, the, uh, for the females, normally from the ovaries, egg will be released into the abdomen. Once the ovulation is occurred, she will be having um, um, periods or menstruation after 14 days if she is not pregnant. So if the uh, ovulation is not taking place uh, properly, the periods will be regular. So normally, as I told, uh, the, if the ovulation is taking place uh, after that, if the female is uh, not getting pregnant, she will get the periods after 14 days. This will not take place in few of the polycystic ov ovarian uh, uh, patients. So, uh, how, what we have to do with uh, if the female is having polycystic ovary with infertility? So, basically, usually the incidence of polycystic ovaries is more nowadays because of the changing in the li lifestyle. Now, the females are uh, taking more of uh, junk foods because of the uh, in more availability of the junk foods and more availability of the modes of transport like motor vehicles so that they are not using the normal walking modality for walking. So, uh, so there the lifestyle is becoming more sedentary and uh, more junk foods and foods with more sweet and sugar is coming into their lifestyle. So if the uh, ovaries are polycystic ovary, if the female is obese, definitely the first line of treatment uh, is to be lifestyle modification and dietary modification. Lifestyle means daily they have to become, uh, go for an exercise or walking for at least 45 minutes to one hour daily and the dietary modification is to change from uh, uh, from the more food with more of uh, sugar or fat to to more of a healthy uh, uh, food with less intake of the uh, junk foods so the so dietary modification and the uh, and the weight reduction must be the first line management if the pcos with the, uh, with the infertility so basically you must know that when the even if the the ovulation occurs normally even if the females ovulate normally even if the tubes and the uh, uterus and the, if the sperm male factor is normal, chance of fertility in one cycle is only 20 percent. So usually we will tell the treatment for in infertility if the couple has been trying for pregnancy for one year without any use of contraception. But if the cycles are irregular, if the periods are getting irregular, that means ovulation is not taking place properly. Then we have to advise them treatment yeah, at least after six months of trial. So when the, uh, if the cycles are irregular and the females is uh, uh, if having PCOS in the scan, first thing, as I told previously, we, we must advise them dietary modification and weight reduction. And uh, this is not so easy as we, as we think because it needs a lot of motiv motiv motivation and female has to reduce the weight uh, if their BMI body mass index is uh, uh, more. So that is the most important thing. And even if the weight is normal, if the female doesn't conceive, then only you must go for a uh, for the second line of treatment like med medicines. But there is another subset of polycystic ovarian um, patients with the, uh, with without any obesity, that is lean PCOS. Those patients they need not have to go for a rigorous diet uh, diet or uh, lifestyle modification, but they must restrict the use of. Uh, food with the more of sugar content because in PCOS patients there the insulin level in the body will be different and there that will lead to uh, the ovulation problem. So after this, uh, uh, after this diet and uh, weight reduction, next thing is that go for a medicines. In the medicines, uh, now there are medicines available which can be taken from the second or, or third day onwards for five days that will produce normal ovulation. So that will increase the chance of pregnancy in that cycle. So if the, uh, in addition to this medicine, they can use for other insulin sensitization medicines like metformin, 
or myenesitol which will help in the ovulation. Suppose is the periods are not getting regular we even with medicines then they have to go for an injectable uh, medicines which induces normal ovulation. But this needs proper monitoring with a proper uh, infertility specialist or gynecologist ultrasound monitoring is needed because otherwise patient will have hyperstimulation syndrome as a complication can occur. So if the female doesn't get pregnant with that then next line is the, to go for a laparoscopy surgery. In polycystic ovarian patients, in the laparoscopy, they do uh, the, the uh, recommended is to go for a PCO drilling. That means you uh, make uh, small uh, holes in the ovaries that will alter the local hormones and that will help in the subsequent menstrual cycles. So ovulation will be uh, better and they will respond more with the medicines. And still, if the female doesn't conceive, the last step is only to go for an in vitro fertilization. That means to uh, me, uh, me fuse the egg and sperm outside the body, that is the in vitro fertilization. So in between, if the female is getting normal ovulation cycles, they're getting uh, normal with medicines or with dietary modification, then we have to go for to see the, whether the tubes are normal. In the body, uh, once the ovulation occurs and if the sperm reaches the uterus, uh, the egg and sperm fuses in the body, in the tubes, uh, side of the uh, uterus. That is the thing we have to see if the uh, if the female is not getting conceived. So the nutshell, uh, the the message must be if the if the female is having uh, infertility with PCOS, uh, definitely the first line is the dietary modification and weight, uh, weight reduction if they are, they are obese. But the message is that this need not be started from the after the marriage. So right from the adolescent age group when the, they are starting menstruation. If the female is having the excessive hair growth that is known as hirsutism or black pigmentation of the neck and the neck area that is known as acanthosis, then and if their cycles are irregular, at that time itself even an adolescent age group by themselves or with the help of the parents must advise them that they must be restricting their diet. Uh, modify their diet more into uh, uh, restricting their sedentary lifestyle that will help in some way to prevent the progress or the prevent the uh, progress of the polycystic ovarian syndrome or the prevent the ovulation problem occurring in the patients with polycystic ovaries. So uh, basically now uh, with the awareness of about the polycystic ovarian syndrome uh, with the with the with the medicines available and with the with the knowledge about the PCOS, even if the female is having PCOS, we can uh, advise them and try to uh, achieve them ovulation and try to uh, give them a normal uh, uh, normal motherhood can be given to the polycystic ovarian mothers. Thank you for patient hearing.